ऑडियंस एंड देयर डेवलपमेंट ओनली सी सी व्हाट्स बेस्ट फॉर देम कीपिंग रिजल्ट्स ऑन अ लोअर प्रायोरिटी वी ऑफ कोर्स वी आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर प्लीज बिकॉज of uh, of the first victory of course it gave us uh, let's say uh, important basics for uh, the continuation of of duran cup tomorrow's game uh, against bengaluru we see as a as a process as a period of our uh, our pre-season preparation and actually we would like to divide some uh, playing minutes to some other players as well also here uh, you have to know that it's been like 24 hours that uh, rain didn't stop and actually we don't know if the games will uh, take part today and tomorrow actually i think that we will not be capable of going out to train today because everything's under water and uh, of course now in this moment we are not that busy and occupied with uh, with the result and everything because we are in a period where we have to take care about uh, preparation about players about everything and first of all to avoid injuries because all these things now happening are not in the uh, like we planned and actually we are not happy about it so tomorrow we will see about this game who will play and how will play and actually still with two games to go you know we are only busy with our preparation because i think that neither we nor bengaluru will look tomorrow like they uh, we will look in uh, isl so actually our main goal is that everybody gets ready everybody gets playing minutes and uh, we'll take tomorrow's game as a part of our pre-season so and hope for the best hopefully without injuries all right coach uh, thank you uh, well speaking about injuries uh, the team has had a setback in the form of some players suffering from injuries there is abdul haku sahal abdul samad etc uh, can you give us an update on these players and you know tell us when we can expect them to be back on action Yeah of course uh, actually about uh, Abdul Haku we are sorry about his injury it was not planned you know and these games they are coming in a in a period where uh, trying to accumulate playing minutes i think that Abdul Haku will not be with us in next 7 uh, to 10 days for sure so actually i think that it will be very difficult for him to uh, to play uh, tomorrow and the next game so he is out uh, if we speak about uh, Sahal he just started training with us yesterday so actually i think that tomorrow it will be also difficult for him but we'll see we want to like i said to take care about everybody uh, certainly not pushing uh, any player in these circumstances under water and in these difficult fields to play and to make the injuries even worse so our goal is to uh, to keep all of them healthy and to have them for on the long term you know because isl is our main objective so uh we will see uh, probably not taking risk with uh, with some of them and especially maybe uh, switching some players for tomorrow's game and giving other players playing time all right coach final question to you uh, as you said last week also kerala blasters are still in the process of uh, you know completing their team uh, the club needs a sixth foreign signing can you give us any updates on that front Uh, yes uh, actually uh, i think that this week everything will be settled uh, if we, uh, when we speak about administration and visa for uh, vasquez and uh, diaz uh, coming till the end of next week and i think that the sixth foreign uh, also uh, will be announced and uh, probably coming as soon as possible probably till the end of this week so i think that our squad will be complete uh, hopefully till the end of of duran cup or maybe these guys joining us at the end of duran cup or even uh, later in go but i think that every, everything will be settled till the end of this week all right coach uh, thanks for the replies i'll now move on to questions for prashant Thank hi you, prashant buddy. good afternoon good afternoon prashant malayalathile chodikano english aano kudal comfortable <laughs> okay me too <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next time, I'll try ask something in Malayalam yeah, for course. the coach. Okay, Prashant. Uh, first of all, uh, Indian Navy ke thera nanna ite kalaju. So congrats on that. Idu uh, vare preseason le Prashant coach inda kiri le worki thete. Etra thoda happy ana. Etra thoda or improvement akhe Prashant ne soyam feeli inandu. Ah, uh, yaan hundred percent happy ana. Uh, Pinne improvement no chinya. കോച്ചിന്റെ സിസ്റ്റം ആവട്ടെ കോച്ച് ഗൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആവട്ടെ പിന്നെ ട്രെയിനിങ് സെക്ഷൻ എല്ലാം നല്ലപോലെയാണ് പോകുന്നത് സോ എന്താ പറയാ ഫുൾ ഹാപ്പിയാണ് ട്രെയിനിങ്ങിലും വിത്ത് കോച്ചായിട്ട് എല്ലാം ഇവിടെ സ്റ്റാഫ് ആവട്ടെ കൂടെ വന്ന ഐ മീൻ ബാക്കി അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് കോച്ച് ആവട്ടെ എല്ലാവരും കൂടെയൊക്കെ നല്ലപോലെയാണ് അപ്പം ഹാപ്പിയാണ് 
ഓൾറൈറ്റ് അപ്പോ പ്രശാന്ത് ഒരു ചോദ്യം കൂടെ സോ അറിയാമെന്ന് തോന്നുന്നു ഇപ്പോ കേരള ബ്ലാസ്റ്റേഴ്സിന്റെ കീഴില് കേരള ബ്ലാസ്റ്റേഴ്സിന് വേണ്ടി എല്ലാ മേജർ ടൂർണമെന്റും കളിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള ഒരേ ഒരു പ്ലെയർ ആസ് ഓഫ് റൈനോ പ്രശാന്ത് ആണ് അപ്പോ ക്ലബ്ബ് ഇതുവരെ പ്രശാന്തിന്റെ ഈ ഒരു ഫുട്ബോളിംഗ് ജേർണിയിൽ എത്രത്തോളം ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എത്രത്തോളം ഒരു വലിയ റോൾ പ്ലേ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്ന് ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് പറയാമോ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും എല്ലാരും അറിയുന്ന ഈ പേര് ഉള്ളതൊക്കെ ഈ ക്ലബ് ത്രൂ ആണ് ഇപ്പം പിന്നെ എന്താ പറയാ ഞാൻ ഇപ്പം ഞാൻ ഈ ക്ലബ്ബില് എന്റെ അഞ്ചാമത്തെ വർഷമാണ് ഭാഗ്യം ഞാൻ ഭയങ്കര ലക്കിയാണ് ക്ലബിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഇത്രയും ടൈം നിൽക്കാൻ പറ്റിയത് തന്നെ പിന്നെ ഇപ്പം എൻ്റെ ഒരു മൂന്ന് വർഷം മുന്നേ ആവട്ടെ ക്ലബ്ബാണ് എന്നെ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ഇരുന്നു ട്രെയിനിങ്ങിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഫിൻലാൻഡിലെ അവിടേക്കൊക്കെ അയച്ച അപ്പം അവർ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും എനിക്ക് നല്ല എല്ലാ യങ് പ്ലേഴ്സിനെയും ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് കെയർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അവരെ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ശരിക്കും ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുന്നതാണ് അപ്പൊ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ക്ലബായിട്ട് ഞാൻ ഭയങ്കര സന്തോഷം ഐ മീൻ വലിയൊരു താങ്ക്സ് ആണ് പറയാൻ കേൾക്കുന്നത് All right, Prashant. Uh, th- thanks for the replies. Uh, uh, All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hari. Can we have Nishant's questions, please? Yes, thank you, Rose. Hi, Coach. Um, hi, Prashant. Nishant Hello. here from Google.com. Um, um, just wanted to ask you about the fitness uh, of the players because uh, we all know pre-season is important for all coaches. to get their players fit and ready so we've had previous instances where uh, there's been an injury a lot of injuries from pre season onwards throughout the season a couple of seasons ago at kerala blasters so i uh, just wanted to ask you do you in the previous press conferences you mentioned that uh, training um, uh, facilities you were like you had you have had to adapt because you had to train in the morning and then today you said that there's water uh there's a water logging issue there due to the rains and so just want to ask you how much of this impacts the whole pre season and the fitness the pre season schedule of the players considering as you said i guess it is your main objective as of now well like actually it uh, it affects a lot because you know when you create a program that you want to follow especially in the first five weeks that we had in kochi where we wanted to start easy with the um one practice per per day trying to start uh on a fitness level to increase uh, certain things and to Im- uh, improve that part and actually it was obvious after 2 uh, 3 weeks that uh, many players and almost all of them they were recovering better after actions they were uh, playing better training better it's a normal part so that's why we started uh, earlier let's say now if we speak about duran cup uh, it arrived in a period where a uh, very important period of a pre season and now the program that we had before uh, we had to modify it uh, completely so if we speak about uh, issues with the uh, with the training grounds or uh, or weather or or whatever you know in our job it's always being capable of uh, adapt and modify day by day so now we have to put that program a little bit on side try to modify uh we understand that it's not quite easy to organize a tournament with 16 teams and uh, very few training grounds and organize all the training sessions for all the teams and uh, sometimes you suffer because uh, from the organization part sometimes you get a, a time to to train at 8 o'clock in the morning which is not normal the other day where you normally train in your uh, planned program you know then you have to modify then about the games and everything you have to modify so even today uh, we had the planned uh, let's say very good tactical session of, like uh, game day minus 1 the most important training session where you have to prepare certain things for uh, for a game probably we will not be capable of going on to the pitch because everything is under water so actually when it comes to your pre-season period you know if it takes like like it's the case now 20 days it's a long time you know and then we have to modify many things we have to take care about the players then you get injuries you have to modify and then speaking of planning certain things you are going into the complete individualization and then every day discussing with the technical and medical staff individually what certain players have to do how they have to do uh, how many things so you know all these things are part of our job so let's say we are not complaining we are trying to do our best and trying to get the best out of it so if you speak about the tournament of course it's nice because it's the possibility for for the club and for the players to get more games you know to compete that's really nice 
But if you speak about the conditions and everything, what's happening around and the part of our preseason, it's not it's not evident. It's not quite easy. But anyway, we'll try to adapt till the end and uh, at the end, of course, take the best possible things out of this tournament and uh, go to go. So that's our main objective. Thank you, coach. Uh, my next question is uh, for Prashant. I'll be asking it in Malayalam. Namaskaram, Prashant. In the case of the Kerala, the Ipa Nertha Parna Ipa major tournaments of Kerala Blasters in Indicalichu. We put the player allowed, we bought experience Ipa Kerala Blasters in Indicalichet and experience in the upper Prashant in the team in a role, Prashant in a Maria, the Bolafilian, and other court, put the season like Katakumbo, conference the court of the Lim, Adabaltane, team in a role, other Kotudi seniority and Kotudi experience of Anna. How do you feel about the tournament or the preseason games? Experience, huh? Uh, there's a team in the world. Uh, it's no combo. See, the Inkyono, Anjosh, and our continuous team in the world. I'm very confident in the world. She rolled like an area field like a Mari Volley and Gilly. There are a Prashim coach in the sister to wing right in Yan. I mean, I love back Padavalatanian. Okay, all the best, Prashant. Oh, thank you, coach. Thank you, Prashant. Best thank wishes for tomorrow's game. Thank you, Nishant. Can we have Siddharth's question, please? Hey, um, hi, coach. Uh, this is Siddharth. Hi, Siddharth. Uh, so my my question to you is the fact that you already said that there have been a lot of challenges uh, with the preseason in like and the Durant Cup uh, because obviously because of COVID and then the weather is acting a bit different in Golga. So how how do you feel like is it a challenge for the new players the new signings who have come in for them to settle in because things are not going to your plan and how are the new signings like so you know Cabra. Uh, Diaz and Chencho and everyone, how are they settling in with the squad? Because the way you wanted them to happen, it's not happening. So, well, if you speak about new signings, uh, for the moment we have only three of them uh, with us. So uh, Sipovic, who uh, who has been already uh, last season in India, for him to to adapt and uh, to accept new certain things, it's uh, quite nothing. So he's already uh, good with everything. If you speak about Luna, he's the guy who arrived also, let's say, on time since our period in uh, in Kochi. So actually, he's also improving in, uh, in his fitness level. Probably he will not be capable of playing uh, still these 90 minutes because we are not still on that uh, uh, moment. Uh, Chencho just arrived after such a long break. We have to take care about uh, his... Uh, uh, his performances and everything, not to throw him, how we say, to the Lions sooner than uh, than needed. We have to take care about that and we'll see if he's going to take part in, in tomorrow's game. If you speak about other uh, reinforcements, they're, so they're about to arrive. They're still not here in India. We'll see when they arrive. But actually, if you speak about Duran Cup, even if they arrive till the end of the week, probably, uh, you know, we will be uh, over our first three games and later on, with the time difference, with everything, when uh, again the break, I, I don't know. We have to check uh, check on them and uh, see uh, their fitness level if they will be capable of uh, participating in the World Cup. So later on for them, it will be more important to adapt in our uh, period in Goa to, uh, to increase their uh, all levels of uh, football compartment and uh, being part of the team. So we are still waiting to complete our squad to be complete and uh, continue our job. Up until then, yeah, three foreigners that we have here for the moment are Sipovic, Luna, and uh, Chencho. Okay. So Sipovic and Luna took part in the last game. Chencho not because he uh, he just arrived. Now after two trainings only, I think that it would be very difficult for him after such a long break to participate in this kind of game, especially under those circumstances uh, with lots of water on the pitch and everything. So we will see, but I'm not worried about them. All of them, even later on when they arrive, the other foreigners, they're professionals and they know how to adapt and they will keep working and everything will be all right. 
and uh, coach one more question just when you're speaking i got this uh, so uh, obviously durand cup is one of the oldest uh, competitions in uh, asian football and uh, your yeah, rivalry kerala blasters rivalry with bengaluru is an up, like already there in an upcoming series rivalry so how do you feel about getting into a derby match and getting the first taste of a match against uh, bengaluru fc well i think that tomorrow's game will not be that kind of game because neither us nor bengaluru are in the moment uh where we want to be in isl i think that neither team will uh, will show uh, the face that we will sh- uh, that we will see in the isl neither team is in a pre-season period where are 100% ready so i think that the both teams are just uh very careful of now again speaking about all the circumstances around what's happening so i think that the both teams we are just careful about not getting injured and uh, going through this tournament and having these opportunities to play nothing else than that so we don't see this kind of game like kind of get derby game which will be in uh, isl so tomorrow's game is part of the tournament so we'll try to play a good game to compete and see what you have and then yeah thank you coach and all the best for tomorrow uh, my question to uh, prashant uh, sorry prashant i don't know uh, malayalam but it is english thing <laughs> um sorry uh, so um, my question to you is the fact that uh, kerala blasters have had a they put up and many fans are labeling you guys as favorites for the tournament along with you know fc goa so what do you feel about that is that something like you to take as a challenge or does that add pressure in a pre season tournament uh, what is your approach to that as coach said uh, we had to you know uh, get fit for the isl we only concentrating about, uh, in isl only so uh, for, for me you know i'm uh, to be really frank i'm not uh, 100% fit to play you know night in this match especially in this weather so we all are you know taking care of us and you know prepare for isl okay. thank you thank you so much and all the best for tomorrow Hey, thank you. Thank you, Siddharth. Can we have Martin's questions, please? Yeah, hi. Hi, Coach. Uh, hi, Prashant. I hope I'm audible. Hi, Martin. Yeah, hi. Uh, first uh, question for the Coach. Uh, coach, uh, obviously, like, you know, the ISL was played, all, all the most of the football tournaments were played in a bio bubble, and you're doing, you, you're doing the same this season as well. But the big difference is that I think... Uh, uh the players and the staff and everybody is getting vaccinated so i just wanted to know uh, whether kerala Bla- kerala blasters the officials the players everyone has been vaccinated uh, uh inside the bubble who are inside the bubble has there been any guidelines from the club or uh, or maybe from from isl or or the duran cup officials what is the what is the official take right now like you know are, are do all the players and everybody have to take vaccination or is it is it is it optional that you can or you can't how is it could you could you because we don't really have any updates on that like so what what are the guidelines that you're you're working with right now i actually all the all the members of technical medical staff and all the players are vaccinated and uh, still there are uh, many uh, restrictions and rules around the duran cup so i think every time before day before the game we have to be uh, tested with pcr tests and uh, there are many restrictions also uh, inside the stadium inside the dressing room uh, many restrictions about warming up when you can go out when you cannot go out what you have to do and many unlogical things around uh, all these uh, let's say all the organization but we understand you know we understand with the current situation and circumstances we understand and we accept it and again we try to modify so Uh, if you speak about the bubble you know uh, i spent so many years on professional level as a player now as a coach also and uh, we are used to uh, spend the time in hotels we are used to spend time in the airports in uh, uh, traveling uh, playing this life of professional sport you know it uh, it doesn't change uh, whether you are in india or any other part of the world you know that's part of professional sport so we uh, accept and follow the uh, advices of medical staff of of course government have everything uh, being careful being uh, let's say uh, uh, 
capable of adapt to any uh, any situation. So we don't complain. We just follow the rules. We just follow the advices, and uh, of course, trying to uh, build up nice positive atmosphere with the positive influence and. Uh, Later on, also, if, when we arrive, especially in Goa, we will see the periods, of course, with bringing, uh, bringing families in and uh, having a nice period because we all want to, to have a normal life. Prashant, uh, a similar question. If the players have vaccination, if the vaccination is the same, if the vaccination is the same, if the reservations are the same, if the side effects are the same, as a player or for all you players, how do you approach before before taking the vaccination? How was it? Almost all of them are first dose. If you want to take first dose, normally all of them have a fever. I think that's why I didn't take the same thing. Second dose itu sami dengan air kuiru, you know, side effects atau lain-lain itu, anginnya yang kau orang anginnya weight ini juga tuh, dah lama anginnya kuda itu tuh, dah lama anginnya berapa korban orang tuh diet lah. Okay, okay, thank you guys, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have Sneha, but before that, please know that you ask the questions quickly because we just have few more minutes left. Sneha, you can proceed. Hi, coach. Hi, Prashant. I say I have a from Silis. My question is, as a coach, how do you handle the pressure when this is a competitive tournament? You still have few weeks away from the ISL and you have the responsibility not just to win this tournament, but also to make sure that the players don't get injured. No, like we said, we are most uh, we are more careful about it, uh, the detail uh, not to get injured because, well, again, we are preparing for the ISL tournament during the Cup just arrived as an extra bonus for, uh, for us and for the players to participate and uh, play some extra games. So if you speak about uh, any pressure, I think that the pressure in football doesn't exist. You know, pressure in football is a just hive that creates, that, that is created around one certain club or uh, community. You know, when I speak about pressure in football, for me, uh, uh, it is never a pressure. Uh, I also, when I communicate, when we speak also with uh, everybody and especially with the players, they must know that the pressure in football is a kind of motivation, you know, to, to be better, to, uh, to become better than yourself yesterday's version, you know, and uh, it, it must never be pressure because, uh, you know, the players, when you are a football player, it's something that you work something that you love. So, you know, pressure in... Uh, it's when you work something that you don't like, you have to wake up five o'clock in the morning, you have to provide food for your family, you have to do something that maybe it's not uh, that good for you. And yet uh, you don't know if you, have, uh, if you will have enough food or money for your family. F pressure in football doesn't exist. It's a joy. It's a pleasure. So it's every day we, because football players, we have to be uh, grateful for the, let's say, God's gift that we can play football because something nice. It's a game and we have to do it with a smile. So actually, we don't have any pressure. Thank you, Coach. A question for Prashant. Last season, uh, last match of the KB, you have to go to the tournament. You have to go to the season. The performance of the appreciation and criticism is very important. When does it affect you badly or you uh, just take it as a motivation? And a bad lead by changing maybe in a pocket or calculate you know, Satimarani upon Arkendu cover. See, personally, Satimarani is somewhere in another happy la, you know, and you other great performance. I read it one or two, but at the same time, you know, I'll carry in the Taki Moshe and Niki Vila, and in the Verena, I'm gonna throw it out to the other. So, I'm going to improve and I'll show you that. You know, I just, I, I only want to improve myself. Okay, thank you, Fashan. All the rest of us, Thank you. Uh, can we have Sangeeta's questions, please? Hi, Coach. Hi, Prashan. Hello. Uh, myself, Sangeeta from Sports Malayalam. Uh, first of all, congratulations to your first win and all the very best for the upcoming matches. I have a question for both coach and player. So let me begin with the coach. Thank Am you. I audible? Yes. Yes. Hello. 
Hello, we hear you. Yeah, okay. Uh, coach, uh, during the last post-match post-match conference, you mentioned about the possibilities of players getting injured. As like Haku got injured in that match, and also yesterday, other ISL outfit FC Goa player Otis got a bad injury. So when we are targeting the Indian Super League, and in the past two, the team is also having the nightmares of injuries. So how difficult is it competing in such tournament when it comes to the high chance of injury? Uh, <clears throat> You know, if you speak about the timing, you know, of the year about this tournament, I think seeing the length and the period where the ISL league is to be held, I think that the perfect period for the tournament would be after the ISL league, actually. Now, when we are all in a period of preparation where neither one squad is completed, it's quite not evident. It's not, it's not easy. Neither one club can participate and be playing 100%. No chance. So and actually now we are more we we more carry about preparation period and how to uh, avoid injuries because we are not on hundred percent and how to play normal games and just to let this time pass and uh, use that as a as a preparation part nothing else than that so it's not easy I think that the timing is bad but anyway we try to adapt and uh, like I said we want to divide all the playing times to give all the players playing time to enjoy to have fun and to participate in this tournament. So actually, we'll try to do our best and continue our preparation for the ISL. Okay, thanks. Okay, Coach, thank you. I have a question for Prashanti Nodana. And before getting to the question, uh, a special congrats to you to become the first player to represent the club in all major tournaments. Now, the question is, uh, so players in the pre-season, the club has been an individual training session for the pre-season. ും <laughs> 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 കോച്ച് Uh, so as we all know competitive competitive matches are less in india thanks to the club blasters have few competitive pre season matches before isl and you have made it clear in the past that uh, uh, the club is using these matches as a build up for isl so on that note luna played as a striker uh, in most of the matches he featured for kbsc till now uh, so with uh, diaz and alvaro joining and tenjo already in the squad do you see him starting in a deeper position or whether he will continue as one of the striker in the future matches you are asking about adrian luna yeah yeah well you know like i said we are in a part of the season uh, with many modifications if you speak that in the last game actually even now we don't have we don't have deep strikers so yeah. we just try to we just try to modify and put uh, Uh, some players on certain spots that maybe they will not be playing in the, in the future so actually we we'll try to modify and to complete the team because duran cup like we said it arrived in a moment that is not that uh agreeable uh in the in the part of pre- uh, preparation we still don't have our squad complete and actually we cannot compete uh, 100% so luna we pushed a little bit further uh, in front to play uh, more offensive even he's not ready after the break he is not ready to play 90 minutes change or just arrived he had two trainings with us after four months break you know even he can be as an offensive player but he is still not ready to play on that level so now without the strikers we are just trying to play our games here and uh, prepare uh, the whole group for the up- upcoming period nothing more than that so actually uh, you know now with injuries of haku or some other issues we will try again tomorrow to modify but probably to like i said switch some players give other players playing time and also play these three games and see if we later qualify to continue if we not qualify to go to go that's it that's our part 
of the, uh, that's our plan for this uh, uh, period here in Calcutta. Like I said, with all the things that happening around, all the issues, we try to modify day by day and uh, to get ready for the for the ISL and keep everybody healthy. That's our goal. Thanks, coach. Now I'll move to Prashant. Prashant, Karnjali on night to you. So congrats for the win. This uh, season, we have an extensive pre-season. Uh, compared to the season, we have a long run in the long run. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you very much. Because the Indian football is very short. So, it's very short. It's a long season. 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 പ്ലേഴ്സിനെ എല്ലാവരും സംഭവിച്ചിട്ടും നല്ല കാര്യമാണ് കാരണം ഒരു ത്രീ മന്ത്സ് ഫോർ മന്ത്സ് ഒക്കെ ബ്രേക്ക് വീട്ടിലാവുന്ന സമയത്തൊന്നും ഇന്നോ എസ്പെഷ്യലി കോവിഡ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഒന്നും ആർക്കും അങ്ങനെ എന്താ പറയാ വർക്ക്ഔട്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്ത അപ്പം ക്ലബ്ബ് ഇത്രയും പെട്ടെന്ന് ഒരു പ്ലേസിന്ന് തുടങ്ങി പ്ലേസിന് ഫിറ്റ് ആയിരിക്കാനും ഇന്നോ ഈവൻ ഒരു ഇഞ്ചുറി പറ്റിയ തന്നെ അത് റിക്കവർ ആവുന്ന സമയം വരെ ഈ ഈ പീരീഡിൽ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം തീർച്ചയായും പ്ലേസിന് അത്രയും ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന കാര്യമാണ് എനിക്ക് ഒരു ചോദ്യം കൂടി ഉണ്ട് പ്രശാന്ത് ലാസ്റ്റ് സീസൺ റൈറ്റ് ബാക്ക് ആയിട്ടും റൈറ്റ് വിങ്ങിലും കളിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ സീസൺ ഇപ്പൊ ഇതുവരെ ഉള്ള കളികളിലും രണ്ടും കളിച്ചു അപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു ഫ്ലെക്സിബിലിറ്റി ഇത് പ്രശാന്തിന്റെ ഹോൾ ത്രൂ ദ കരിയറിൽ കാണാം അല്ലെ ഈ ഒരു ഫ്ലെക്സിബിലിറ്റി അപ്പൊ ടീമിന് വേണ്ടി ഏത് പൊസിഷനും കളിക്കാൻ പ്രശാന്ത് തയ്യാറാണ് പക്ഷെ ഇതൊരു ചലഞ്ചിങ് ആയിട്ട് എപ്പോഴെങ്കിലും തോന്നിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ ലൈക്ക് ഒരു ഒരു പൊസിഷനിൽ തന്നെ ട്രെയിൻ ചെയ്യാ ലൈക്ക് ഓരോ ഒരു ഗെയിമിൽ തന്നെ ഡിഫറെന്റ് പൊസിഷനിൽ കളിക്കേണ്ടി വരുന്ന ഒരു ചലഞ്ചിങ് ആയിട്ട് തോന്നിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ ചലഞ്ചിങ് ആയിട്ട് എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ സി വിങ് ബാക്ക് വിങ്ങർ എനിക്ക് അത്ര യുനോ അത്ര വലിയൊരു ഡിഫറൻസ് ആയിട്ട് അങ്ങനെ തോന്നിയിട്ടില്ല ഓക്കെ ഡിഫൻസിൽ ഡിഫ വിങ് വിങ് ബാക്ക് ആവുന്ന സമയത്ത് ഡിഫ നമ്മൾ ആ ലൈൻ മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യാനും ഡിഫൻസിൽ കുറച്ചും കൂടി കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം പക്ഷെ എന്നെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിട്ട് യുനോ ഇപ്പം ഈവൻ എന്നെ പേഴ്സണലി എന്നെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിട്ട് ഇപ്പം ടീമിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ഏത് രീതിയിൽ ടീമിനെ എങ്ങനെ ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ട് ഇപ്പം ആയിരിക്കും ഇപ്പൊ ഈവൻ ഗോൾ കീപ്പർ നിൽക്കാൻ വരെ ഇപ്പം നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പം പോയി നിൽക്കുകയായിരിക്കും എന്നെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിട്ട് അത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ടീമിനെ എന്നാൽ കഴിയുന്ന വിധം ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുക അത്ര മാത്രം ഹലോ Am I audible right now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Hello, coach. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, Prashant. Good afternoon. Myself, Hello. Srinath from IFTWC. I just have one question, one single question for the coach. And uh, the question is not related to next match or the uh, next upcoming season. It's just related to K. Prashant, our dearest K. Prashant. And the question is, uh, in the ice soccer section of fans, uh, K. Prashant is an underperforming player. Means he's not scoring that much of goals. He's not providing that much of assistance in the paper. And uh, he's underperforming in the eyes of some fans. And what are your analysis regarding this player? Don't, kindly don't take this as a negative question. It's a positive question from my side. Kindly <laughs> just provide me uh, what you think about him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he knows already, I told him, you know. <laughs> no, I think he's a, he's a good player. Both of us, we know that uh, he can play even better. You know, in a football process, uh, in one football career, you're always trying to, to become better. Every year, every season, you're trying to improve. It doesn't matter uh, how old are you. you. You must know that the players, and I experienced that as well as a, as a former player, football player it doesn't matter if you are 17 18 19 20 years old or you are 30 31 or above it doesn't matter in any period of your life as a football player you can improve and you can improve a lot and uh, sometimes it affects with the with the moment where uh, uh, where you connect with uh, maybe one coaching staff where you get that click in your head and try to improve and yet you you know you improve you make the things better you you make yourself better and i think that prashant has the potential to improve uh, a lot and uh, hope that he will uh, stay healthy that he will uh, keep working hard because not only him but i think that all of us now if we speak uh, from kerala blasters we are the team who uh, finished last season second from bottom you know and uh, we have to uh, we have to stay calm we have to stay humble we have to stay modest you know we don't have to announce 
big words because we were second from bottom. We have to keep hard, try improving, improve ourselves, all of us, and try and be better and trying to become a better team in the next ISL. So I think that uh, Prashant, as many others, has a huge potential to improve, to become better, and even more this season, make many assists and score goals. Okay, coach. Thank you. Thank you so much. Prashant, later, 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 I will, later I will tell him something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, Srinath. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Prashant, for joining the PC. And good luck for your Thank match you. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, Bye -bye. thanks. Bye.